I wanted to touch on some of the cruciferous veggies that are my favorite because these are ones that I am growing a lot of. Every spring and fall, I grow a lot of all of these um, and because they are my favorites, especially the broccoli. There's so many, so many great varieties of broccoli, my personal favorites. I mean, I'm post, uh, they're, they're posting a bunch of my, my favorites and the things that, uh, that we're posting um, or that we're, that we're growing in our yard. Um, let's see, Lori says, is there something that you recommend to keep bugs off greens? Um, so one of the great things too, I will say first off in, for planting in the fall is there's not quite as many bugs as there is in the spring. I feel like in the spring, the pests and everything come out with a vengeance and it is just Oh, it is nonstop battling all sorts of pests. Um, but it really just depends on what pests you're dealing with and what you're growing. Um, I will say like with a lot of these, like, especially like these cruciferous veggies, so things like cabbage, kohlrabi, broccoli, I do see a lot of things like cabbage worms and things like that. Um, so a lot of those, like I use like the BTK spray, if I'm seeing a lot of it, and that's a naturally occurring soil bacteria. It um, goes through and it will um, get rid of those caterpillars that you're, that you're dealing with. So those, um, those worms and things like that that are eating your greens. Um, but I will mention too, um, if you guys have not grown kohlrabi before, I highly recommend giving that a try. And it's one that I, I get started indoors quite a bit um, in the spring and in the fall, even though it has um, typically a pretty fast harvest time. It's usually between like 30 to 45 days to harvest. And it's when I get started indoors so I can get a head start on it. And then I go outdoors and I transplant them. And then I also direct sow seeds at that point whenever I transplant them outdoors just so that way I have them at different stages of their life. So that way they're not all ready to hide, you know, they're, well, they're not all ready to um, harvest at the same time. So I love growing kohlrabi. It's probably one of my favorites and so many unique ways to eat it. Whenever we first grew it, I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Um, it's just like this little baseball looking thing that you can go through and all, the great thing about kohlrabi is that all of the plant is edible. So you can eat that actual little baseball thing sitting right there on top of the soil. And the leaves up on top are great too. Um, we've added them to like fritters, to stir fries, just eating them like regularly just sauteed. Um, I do like kohlrabi with like some cheese on top. The kids love that. Um, it's really great. And it's, um, it tastes very similar to like broccoli. Um, that's how I typically describe it for people. And um, it's very similar taste to broccoli, um, especially like the broccoli stem area, um, for that ball right there. Um, it is super tasty. Um, and it's also one, like you can shred it so you can use it. So it's very similar to zucchini too, I feel like, because in zucchini, like we shred zucchini all the time and use it in baking and, cooking, all sorts of things. And kohlrabi is very similar. So you can just like cut it up, shred it and put it in like hash browns and fritters and things like that. Super tasty. I love it. Um, all of these other veggies are definitely ones that you can get started, especially if you are doing um, the longer like head growing of, of broccoli. I, I would definitely make sure that you are starting it indoors same as cabbage and cauliflower, because those typically take a little bit longer to grow. Um, so these ones, I highly recommend starting those seeds indoors and getting a head start on your fall growing season if you can't already start them outdoors. Because um, for me, I know technically we can um, grow the, start them outside, but they're not going to do well right now just because um, it's just not like, um, it's just really hot right now. So I'm going to start all of these indoors and, um, and so that way I can go through and transplant them whenever it's cooler out. They'll do a lot better whenever I do that. Um, 
And then I wanted to mention asparagus too. Um, I know it's something that it's very unique, but you can get started with growing asparagus over the fall and a really good time. It's actually a really good time to get started um, indoors for your asparagus. And then you can kind of get a head start on it. Um, asparagus is something that's definitely different than all these other ones because it is going to take a couple of years before you can go about harvesting it, especially if you start it by seed. But it is definitely, definitely something that I wanted to mention that a lot of people start by seed in the fall time just to get a head start on it so you don't have to wait for spring.